my name is Gilbert Trejo. And this is my father, Danny. <laughs> um, I'm a founding member of El Cine, it, which is a nonprofit dedicated to uh, creating accessible film education through screenings and conversations like this. Uh, El Cine started from a discussion with my partners and I where we just we couldn't find the programming to represent ourselves and uh, myself being born and raised in Los Angeles, second generation, my father was born and raised in Los Angeles. And we feel like it's, it's important for us here to be able to access our heritage through cinema and to be able to access, you know, the voices that represent the, the generations that came before us, as well as the generation today. And um, Macario is the first Mexican film to be nominated in the category of Best Foreign Picture for an Academy Award. It was also in the 1960 Cannes Festival. Um, I'm a filmmaker myself, and it's stories like this, and it's filmmakers like, um, uh, like Bunuel or Gavadon who inspire me to make these sort of almost like subversive yet religious and spiritual stories. Um, these films, they serve as cautionary tales and, you know, it's like when we revisit them, we can take a look at ourselves and we can take a look at the generations that, that built us, you know. Uh, Gavalon is the only director who I've seen cast and create characters who have names like Dionisio, which is my, God, my grandfather's name. And that kind of thing is really, really important to me. Um, so I just love that you guys are all here and that we can take a look and uh, remind us of who we are and where we came from. Thank you. My name is Danny Trejo, <clears throat> and uh, <laughs> right now I'm looking at our future, and uh, it's really cool. I, uh, I'm so honored to be here, and uh, I want to thank everybody for being here. Just the numbers show how important it is for us to... Uh, keep uh, Latino cinema mm -hmm. alive. And uh, yes. uh, we can all like experience this together. It's like I, uh, I started this in 1985 and slowly, slowly we're growing. And thank God that you guys are coming right behind us. And, you know, we'll open any doors we can. I kept trying to get my son as an actor, but secretly he learned everything there was to know about making movies. Mm -hmm. So now he's directing. And it's that, that drive that you guys got. You know, it's like, wait a minute, this is what I wanna do. This is how I'm gonna do it. You're all here and I'm really, really proud of all of you. Thank you so much. Good evening. Um, you know, as a Mexican uh, representative here in Los Angeles, for me it's a great honor to be here today because I bet that you, when you think about the consulate, you're thinking about a passport. <laughs> but we also uh, promote art and culture. We are committed to that. Uh, during these uh, past two years, we have been struggling so hard uh, with this pandemic and uh, we became a COVID-19 testing site we became a vaccination center, and, uh, but uh, nothing stopped us. Uh, we keep on collaborating with the academy. And uh, now, thanks to the Televisa Foundation, especially to Alicia Lebrija, uh, we have this series from uh, the director Gabaldon. I just wanna share with you that when you see this uh, movie tonight, keep in mind that not just the director uh, Gabaldon, that is a great director, is involved, is also involved Emilio Carballido. Emilio Carballido was a great Mexican uh, writer and he wrote the script for this uh, movie. And he was inspired in the German tales 
and also in the Day of the Dead uh, celebration. So it's a very interesting uh, mixture that you have to keep in mind when you see this. And also the photography, the great uh, Gabriel Figueroa photographer. So please enjoy and remember that this is um, at the end of the 1950s, this was in 1959, this became an icon of the Mexican identity. So uh, thank you so much for this opportunity and thanks for the alliance with the Academy. Today, but today, Mexican cinema is one of the best in the world. So for everyone that think that only the grandparents, los abuelitos veían el buen cine mexicano, please check the films that are coming out today from Mexico. There is so many amazing directors, Alonso Ruiz Palacios, Manolo Caro. I could stand here for 20 minutes and mention names, but do follow the Mexican cinema that is coming out today, which is amazing. And with that, I please leave you with Diana Luna. Thank you, everyone. And yes, and with that, we are also having an initiative with Hola Mexico Film Festival that is Tomorrow's Filmmakers Today, when we are supporting our filmmakers, our emerging filmmakers in our community, but not only in our community, in Latin America, to be in a screen like this forever. And I think that we have to support our current filmmakers, Latino filmmakers, que tenemos tanto talento, tanto que dar in the Hollywood industry, but not only Hollywood, worldwide. So I'm very happy that we've been invited uh, to be part of this project. And we need to root for our stories. We need to root for our filmmakers that today are making a difference and are telling incredible stories that we're going to witness tonight. So we're crossing bridges, not only between Mexican film and in the US, but all over Latin America, hablando español. So I'm very happy to be here. and. I hope that you can find out more also about tomorrow's filmmakers today and an incredible talent that we are supporting through Hola Mexico Film Festival. And thank you for being here tonight. <laughs>